Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to League Legends, you already know. So if you're at the title, <clears throat> I'm gonna be teaching you guys basic basic like techniques and tactics you can do to help you get out of gold elo. This is gold gold elo I'm pretty sure. So yeah. <clears throat> this is um we got camped by I'm pretty sure these guys were we're all pre-made, but I'm not sure. So, <clears throat> be back to you warm landing phase. Oh yeah, and the tip that I definitely recommend for whatever elo is to definitely guard, guard your buffs. So you don't have to fight anybody that comes over here, but just stand here to make sure that nobody comes in or anything. Like, let's say this Garen and J4 wanted to come invade, I would just let them know so that my jungle can counter invade or like. You know, do something about it. We can fight or get our mid laner or something. So yeah, it's always a good idea. I always see like, like here, just like people always just sitting in lane for no reason. They're supposed to be guarding their buffs. Always a good idea. <clears throat> so here is very interesting. Actually, I did not expect it at all. I mean, like a little bit. So I got level two ganked by the J4. So yeah, this was uh, interesting. I'm, I'm, I was wondering why he was going for such an extended trade with me. So I was a little, I was a little curious. So I see the thing, I see the the flag, and I instantly flash out, to make sure that I don't die, and I let my jungler know to be careful. The thing is, he s still stays. He stays here, and he just, he just sits here and waits I guess as soon as I go in he... now this was um I was not expecting this at all but how did that hit me that's, that's some messed up hitbox if that was right there and I was standing here very odd to me so I live and I have to recall the TP because that's just uh, that was just uncalled for anyway yeah so he wasted a lot of time there but from now now i know that i'm getting camped and i have to take very precautions very special precautions because i hear i hear from a lot of people that go what am i supposed to do if i'm getting camped well the thing you do is you place you play back you play safe you got to realize that you're getting camped and you got to do something about it don't just, just just don't just keep walking up and fighting you got to just sit back and farm and stuff. See? He's just playing topside this entire game. Yeah, my jungler gets broadside. Yeah, he gets. I'm pretty sure he even took his boop off. But I'm not completely sure. He's back. He's just playing topside. Anyways, we're just farming up. I got a little behind on CS due to um, the early cheese, but it's that's all right. So here I'm slow pushing in so that I can just reset the wave. Now, right here, I had a feeling right there because I know I don't have any vision in the jungle, so I'm just instinctively gonna back off. So now Garen's gonna shove this wave into me. And then I can get a perfect freeze right here, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Freeze is key to winning a lane like this, and Garen is quite a tough matchup. I don't play Fiora very often, so I'm not very mechanically advanced with her yet. So here, he has more min he has a lot more minions on his side than my side, so I just gotta fin out the wave where I have four minions on his side than mine. I force him into to attacking the wave so that I can easily fin the wave out here. Now I I brought it into tower so that I can um I can help fin it out but now since it's a huge wave I'll just face tank all that and you don't want to do that so you gonna want the wave you're gonna come over here and once you do that you just last hit don't do anything now. I know that you're recalled, so I'm gonna set up a slow push so that I, I can get my recall in. So you'll see. Look, I'm only last hitting, making sure that I don't push the wave too hard. 
There's the minion there. Now, thinning out the wave so that my wave is stronger than that one, not hard shoving. He does have item advantage on me, so I don't want to look for trade unless he just runs into my wave like that. Yeah, so, pretty good trade, honestly. I'll, I'll take that. Have his HP for. I'm not sure why my jungler was here. He should have been outside for dragon. I really didn't need his help like that. I picked him off because this elo is insanely greedy. So greedy. So we got his flash, and he just recalls, cancels it for some reason. He has ignite, not teleport. So yeah, I have the advantages here. And he walks over to this bush, wasting a bunch of time for no reason. So yeah, I get a good freeze here. I have enough minions. Cause this wave is just gonna stay here. That's why they call it a freeze. Yeah, I'm just hold the lane there so that if he walks up, I get a free free kill or I can just run him down the lane if my jungler comes. He's, he's just stuck in a bad position and he can't walk up the CS. You gotta make sure that there's four minions on their side. So, if there's more than you're probably gonna want to fin out the wave. So he's just trying to farm, but he can't walk up all the way because he knows he's gonna die. He's, he's trying to break my freeze here. But it's not working out too well for him. Yes, I went I keep winning trades. I'm not sure why he keeps trading with me, but here he forces me wave into tower. So I just have to class it. I don't know where he is. I make sure to MIA. The wave control is key in this ELO. My jungler should have gotten a huge early lead off him, but I guess he was just trying to gank a lot or something. But here I set up my, sp my slow push so I can get a good recall in so I, I can get my items because I still have the orange blade. So here, what happened here is very interesting. You gotta take note of what, what was done right and what was done wrong. So here, Warwick comes up, Warwick walks up here to try and counter gank. I just flash out, because I'm just gonna stay. Now, these guys, Warwick should have just left, I would have been fine, I had flash, I was good. These guys chase, he even flashes for the kill, and doesn't even get close. That is just a perfect example of the amount of greed in this. Look, he chased them all the way down to mid lane, and when he could have pushed in lane, and got good tower planning, but that is perfect opportunity for me to get my recall, my first power spike. So now Garen, she just he can't fight me at this point. So here I am again, just freezing the wave. Oh, I'm pretty sure I messed it up, kind of here. I should have held on to it. I kind of broke the freeze there, but it's all right. So I'm gonna try and get a kill on Garen here. So I'm gonna slow push the wave. I really could have all in him there, but I have no vision here of where the jungler J4 is. So I'm gonna go with it. Garen is just staying. He's playing kind of passive, but here he turns back on me for some reason, and I get a nice kill. Now, now I shove in the wave and look to um, pressure topside so my team can get dragon. <clears throat> now J4, if he was smart. He would most likely play for Dragon instead of coming top. Because Garen 
So I push this in. People might say this is greedy, but it's actually really free because I know that Garen is dead and he's walking back. And if J4 was to come, that I would be able to kill him either way. And if they were to go for Dragon, I can just TP in. So it's just a free plate and free XP. And then he misses all this minions gold in the XP right there. So that, I have two levels on him at this point. Yeah. My team here, I, I come look for a TP to secure the dragon because they got Infernal Drake. And, uh, I do get a kill on. I, I try to predict the, um, the condemn there. But Garen, he made the right move. And shoved in for tower plating. He got a really big chunk of my tower there, which was, um, I don't know, it was kind of worth, I guess. But we got dragon, so it's just good for us. So far. So now I recall and run back to land. And I always recommend usually to take teleport over at night because it's just better than that. I mean, Ignite is good for early game, but it's just teleport is just all better, in my opinion. See, so I'm running back to lane. He, I know he's not gonna get my tower. So I'm just gonna push him out, and I'm gonna make sure that he doesn't get to shove in this wave. So he doesn't get to take my tower. Uh, yeah. I have no vision on where they went, so I'm going to back off. And I see J4 and Garen here, so I see they're going for Rift Herald, so I back off and look to see for my team if they're going to rotate or not. Garen is running mid. He's just wasting all his time, just increasing my CS lead even more. Now, I don't have vision on anyone, so I'm just gonna back off instead of greeting for the tower plating. See, if I, I would've died. A very common mistake in low elo, make greed for anything they can get. Now, I don't know why Warwick went in on this. He really didn't want this. I tried to get the kill for this one, but it didn't turn out too well. I looked at the wrong person. The Lucian ended up getting the kill, so it's one for one. So, uh, it's pretty good. We're going back to lane. Got to save my tower. Oh, Garen is just... He cannot fight me at all, at any cost. He would lose. Now he has my wave shoved in and he could go for a, a suicide from my tower, but that would be kind of weird. Yep, there he goes. He actually flashes here, which is, yeah, that was just not worth it. He could have gotten so many. And then J4 flashes as well, and then he can't catch me. So I just back off, I get a free kill. He does get tower, but I get two flashes and an even bigger lead. But yeah. We got Mountain Drake, they got Inferno. So pretty sure the next dragon that's coming up is Cloud. So I just shove him, reset the wave and recall. So here I, I I didn't want to really, but Warwick insisted that we would get Rift Herald, so I guess it was just a bad choice. Honestly, we had no vision on anyone; they were all alive, and they had vision too. So at, right here, we should just backed off. But see, I'm backing up. But this guy decided to go in. He misses the smite, so I just back off. That was just a terrible decision. Oh no, I'm 
they're both top and I'm guessing that they want to shove and put Rift in the top which I'm pretty sure ends really bad for them so here they should just like gank to mid or something and and put the rift out somewhere else there was no need for, for what happened here so here I am by myself for rift out and I try to take a rift out now here they suicide from the tower so I to kill one I should have waited for the carry in his all I do end up getting double kill which is pretty really good for me at this point I'm 5 and 0 oh. And I got a shutdown on J4, which is even better for me. So I'm just so strong at this point, and they can't do anything about it. So now I see that this lane is free. Everybody's got vision on. We get a free Cloud Drake. Since J4 was top, greeting for the tower. He should have just went dragon. No, I have no vision on J4, but then I see him walk past his control ward, so I know this is freaking. I know Garen is walking back, so, so I get this free tower and I back off. I see him on side, so I'm just gonna recall and look for a pressure and group. So I'm back, back to lane. I know that Garrett and Jeff are top side, so I'm just going to place more vision control and just show. Now don't go for the chase. Do not chase, especially when you have no vision on the jungler. So I'm going to just shove in and just. Chill out. I have no vision on J4, so I'm going to play back. The key is here. I know I'm getting camped, so I'm just gonna play back. I'm not gonna chase, I'm not gonna play up. I have no vision on J4, so I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay, geez, the farming. Oh god, yeah, your eyes. Sorry, guys. That was terrible. I just missed like three minions there. Four. No, I ping and I really top side. I'm missing. And Garen has a good kill. A double kill. Which is good for him. But I get this tower top side. Since I know that everybody is mid lane. And it will take take the tower faster they can walk so we go two for one and we get a tower top side and they get a turret which is unfortunate but let us keep on farming I have a huge lead on gear he just really cannot fight me now I think why didn't you fight him once again, no vision on their team, so I'm not going to risk it. I 100% could have killed him there, but it was a high, could have been a high chance that J4 was gonna walk up or Z was gonna walk up. So we're just gonna take it easy. Alright, there's there's no rush in this game. There's no need for rush. I gotta get kills. I gotta get kills. I gotta kill. Him. I just gotta go. Go to long head. Let's play, play the late game. Farm up. Oh, that's nice. Nice, you got the blue buff there. So I see that Garen's rotating mid. And Dragon is coming up. So here, I have TP, so I'm going to pressure top. Maybe try and get someone top and then just teleport. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't end up working out. Because, um,. We'll see what happens. So I'm pressuring top as hard as I can. I'm shoving in, maybe try and get someone top. 
See, they're all recalling for me, all of them. So I'm going to Garen stays. So I'm just gonna keep top pressure so my team can get dragon. Without with me top, they're not getting anything. So Zyra unfortunately goes down here. And they're all roaming back down. So I'm just gonna keep on farming. Wait. Instead of just waiting back here, I'm gonna go for the Raptors for an even bigger lead. I still have two levels on Garen. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I see Vayne here. So she stays for my team. We lose Warwick. So do I TP here? We have to give we have to give the dragon here. There's nothing we can do about it. Because these guys got got picked out and well, vain, vain, vain. I try to, I keep trying to predict the contents, but it never works out for me. Uh, I could flash Q auto team at here and get a pretty nice kill, but look, everybody's coming top. So I'm gonna play back. I'm just gonna walk away. See, Azir's right here. See, this is a common mistake right here. It's chasing. Look at the chase, chase. You just gotta chill out and just do your own thing, you know? Don't chase unless you have vision or a free kill for sure. They can't get away and there's nothing nothing at stake. Don't just chase because you want kills. That's a really common mistake here. So Warwick gets caught by Garen here. So I'm here. I ping him to go in, he doesn't, so he walks away from me, and I'll get a kill on your 4 now I need to walk away because I remember I do have a 500-300 bonus for bounty, so I am trying to stay away. she condemns me away actually, and my team just comes in, and that's, that's it, we went 4 for, four for 1, that's really good for us. I ended up getting a triple kill, and I'm pretty sure Warwick just straight up died there for some reason. Not sure why. Oh, that was nice. He should just back off and got him. Oh, so close. So here, I go with my team and I just shove me. We get as much of a lead as we can from this. So I shove tower and then we just back off. Get one more wave maybe. Get this wave and then once we see them all alive, we back off and we reset. Since we got four and a tower. Well five of them actually. And a tower. We have a huge gold lead over them. So we get back and buy items so we come back stronger than them. So here I have my Hydra and Triforce with Ninja Tabai since I am um, they have um, a good auto attack based team and AD. So yeah, Ninja Tabai was definitely the, the play there for anything. Now I'm building into my death dance. But yeah, I could have gotten the Warhammer and and the Vampire Sector, but I remember I I have a huge bounty right now, so I really don't want to die and give that away. That'll be huge for them. So where am I? I'm here. I get some flashes out. I get J4 Slash when he decides to go in there and then hit the team fight. Azir, we turn on Azir, we walked up and we got some flashes there. So we got Bux's Flash and J4 Flash. So that's good for us. I'm not sure why we were Flash. That was just a really greedy play. So we win that fight. That was two for none. And I'm just 
getting stronger and stronger. I'm 9 and 0 at this point. I was really weird all by luck. So now we got the tower. So instead of chasing here, we're just gonna I'm not gonna chase them. We're just gonna I'm gonna back off. We don't know where Garen is. So yep, we have perfectly set up dragon. Actually, no, no, wait. They're all alive. They're coming back for dragon. I have my TP, so I go for a recall to get my death dance. Make sure I'm strong. So at this point, I ping my team that I have teleport, and to I'm going to push top to pressure. So someone has to come top so that we can get dragon. So here, what happens is. I did TP in, but my team just didn't engage with me, and it was, really, it was really unfortunate. I TP, I, I pinged them for the help, but they just didn't want to engage for some reason. I was so confused why they weren't engaging. It was like, all I had to do was walk around, I was there, just key over the wall, and I was... We would got dragon and a bunch of kills, but it's okay, it's just fortunate, I guess. I get another pack group. Here, I get ulted under tower. i just flash out. Get my life steal. So, actually, Lucian stole my, my raptors for some reason. I don't even know why. That was just toxic, dude. I wasn't even mad, but like, jeez, kind of, kind of strong, you know. Here, get a free red buff. And I am so strong. So I got Garen here. So there's everybody, and my team got Baron. So I was just distracting. Got my team free Baron, so we all just reset. Now, that's good for us. Okay, so here, I'm going to look to split, but not, not split push, but pressure bot lane and group with my team. So, actually, Warwick sold his jungle item for single, which was um really weird. I'm pretty sure he had the... Um, the other one, 60 AD, and he sold it, because he should have got some gold from the start, so I do get, and I got this free tower, so they all start rotating here, so I just play back, and let my team get this tower, so now I've gotten bot, top towers, bot towers, and mid towers for my team, so now we're just gonna look to maybe poke out these towers with the super minions they are key right now see look at this grid there could have been five of my team that could have turned on him there just don't risk the chase so there is a very awkward play on my team they're just so greedy they just lost all their baron guns so i think they're good in this free tower and killing Garen, I'm pretty sure. So this is free kill. Just take it, get out. Just a full HP. Then this guy, he wants he wants a piece. He wants some of that. Bam. Bam. Free double kill, and then I got an in. And then this was my mistake right here. This is like a common mistake that I really underestimated their team. So here I'm like, oh, they're all dead. Free and free Nexus Towers. Look, that that slow, I just 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 oh I should have just backed off. That's so bad. That is my fault guys, do not make that mistake. I mean I did get both Nexus Towers, so we are like very up from objectives. So that we can just really should have backed off there. But it's alright because you know this pushing and then we get a free cloud trick here
Alright, here we go. So, they look like they want to fight for this dragon. So, they have to defend bot lane. Now. So, the bot lane is pushing down. And I do have TP up, actually. So, I'm going to look, once again, pressure top. And then look for a TP. Because if top is pressured, then they can't really do anything. So here I'm just hard shoving top while all five of them are here. So I force Fane to recall. Because she has to take care of me. See, look, they're all recalling, so we just got a free dragon. And if they fought, I would have got top lane and the dragon because I would have TP'd. So that's why teleport is such a good. Half HP at tower, we get the free dragon, and my team, they all recalled for me. All of them. Except for J4, he died. So this Garen was, um, pretty sure he, like, chased me down the thing for some reason. I could have turned on him, but I don't know where they are, so I'm just not gonna risk it. So my team, that's a kill. And Lux. They just all die again. Amazing. So here, which is where I just end the game, get double kill. Yeah, this is where Cookie Combos flashes into the fountain, and then I just. The game is over already, so I'm just gonna. I was just trolling him, because I knew that game was over. I actually almost killed him with my auto attacks. But I accidentally auto... But that's how you win in gold elo. Right there, that's how I just showed you. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.